Hello, Internet. This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today, I want to answer the question of what is the big difference between a Gibson SJ200 standard and the Epiphone version, the EJ200CE. So obviously, as we're holding both of these guitars uh, in my lap right here, right, this is the Epiphone version of this guitar. It's pretty plain to see they're both jumbo bodies, uh, maple and spruce, uh, similar mustache style bridges, similar inlay. Uh, it's clear that the EJ200 is basically the Epiphone version of the SJ200. But what's different between them other than one being an Epiphone and one being a Gibson? Obviously, price is going to be a big consideration. The Gibson SJ200, as I'm holding it here, goes for $5,249. Now that is not an inexpensive guitar, but it is a beautiful, all solid wood, American built instrument, and it is, you know, a legend. So, you know, it commands a premium. It's handmade here in the US, up in Bozeman, Montana. It's not a cheap guitar by any stretch of the imagination. It's not intended to be. The Epiphone, on the other hand, is intended to be an economical version of this guitar. So if you're wanting something like the J200 and you can't shell out $5,000, Epiphone makes this for you to appeal to you. Uh, at, you know, someone who's wanting this style of jumbo acoustic guitar, and in this case, acoustic electric with a cutaway. So outside of price, what do they do to get this guitar down to this? Basically, it's over $4,000 cheaper than the Gibson. Well, we're going to do a playing comparison for you, but let me run down the specs. And I don't like people shopping based upon the specifications of guitars. I just want you to understand what specifications matter and how it influences the feel and the sound of the guitar. The Gibson is all solid. It's solid top, back, and sides, spruce and maple, okay? Uh, it features a beautiful flame maple neck. It's nitrocellulose finished. As I mentioned, it's made here in the US. It has scalloped bracing. It has an LR Bags Anthem pickup in it. Grover Rotomatic tuners. The Epiphone is not all solid. It features a solid spruce top with laminate back and sides. The bracing is not scalloped. Um, it features a uh, eSonic pickup, uh, which is not an LR Bags pickup. It's a fine pickup though. Um, the mustache style bridge is different. If you look at them, um, the Epiphone one is fatter, flatter, bulkier, uh, thicker looking. Um, the feel of the Epiphone is fine. It doesn't play as well as the Gibson. The uh, finish on it is polyurethane finish. And of course it's made overseas and imported into the United States. Um, it doesn't come with a case like the Gibson does, um, all these things. Tonally and playability, it doesn't play quite as well as the Gibson, but it does play well. It doesn't sound near as good as the Gibson, not by a long shot. And that's where I want to kind of emphasize the difference here because the construction of the guitar plays a big role in what I'm about to say. The Epiphone, on its own or by comparison, feels thick in construction. Uh, from a sound standpoint. It, it sounds thin tonally because it seems really thick, like it doesn't resonate, it doesn't vibrate. What you hear is the strings. So you're gonna get a lot of treble response, uh, you're not gonna get a whole lot of bass response um, because there's not much moving. The top is not scalloped bracelet. It's not allowed to move much. The back and sides are laminate, so they're not in on the act. And the finish is thicker, uh, which is going to inhibit the vibration of the wood as well. Um, none of that should be a huge surprise at this price of $499, which is what this sells for. Most guitars in this price, particularly those that are imported, have a thicker finish and laminate construction on the back and sides um, and without the benefit of scalloped bracing. So, what you're hearing is the result of the construction. The Gibson, on the other hand, has a much thinner finish, scalloped bracing, it's all solid, and so as you play it, you can feel and hear the entire guitar resonating, producing the sound that comes out of an acoustic guitar. And so that is the big difference. Now, the big question is, is all of that worth $4,750 or whatever it actually comes out to? That is a question for you to answer. For me, playing for as long as I have, how I play 
I'm inspired by the instruments that I play, and so I want something that is more resonant. And that's what I look for in an instrument. But take a listen to the playing, and you'll hear what I'm talking about. So there you go. Did you hear the difference through the video? Did you put on some headphones and, or were you listening through your iPhone? That doesn't work very well. But hopefully you did hear the difference between these two guitars. Now, this video doesn't belittle the Epiphone at all. It plays great. 
and it's got a uh, pickup in it. It's ready to go. It's got fantastic looks, and at $4.99, it really is a great value. The fact that you can get a guitar in this day and age that intonates well, that plays well, that has a pickup for $499 and has this look is a phenomenal value, but you do get what you pay for, and so having a $499 guitar versus one that's $5,000 plus dollars, it matters, and hopefully you could hear the difference between those. If you come and play either one of these in person, you will definitely experience the difference. So I hope that helped. It uh, That kind of holds true across a lot of different brands and a lot of different price points for a lot of different guitars. If you have any questions, go to our website, albumamusic.com. You can see all the information about these guitars and many more. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, support what we're doing here, maybe buy a t-shirt from our shop down below, and turn on notifications. As we enter this new year, you'll get an update as the new stuff comes out and we make a video on it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for watching the videos that we produce. We put these out to help you choose the right guitar, um, understand some of the options that are out there, and to showcase some of the latest models that you may not get the opportunity to play in your local music store. If you have benefited or enjoyed watching any of our videos, then I want to tell you how you can help us to make more. We have created a new t-shirt just for guitar nuts like you and me. It's this. It says, I'm a guitar nut. So if you're like me, you are a guitar nut. And if you're also like me, walking around naked is probably an offense. So we want you to have this shirt. Follow the link, go to our website. These are going to be limited time and uh, you can put in a pre-order for it now. They will be shipping soon. Once they're gone, they're gone. So follow the link below and get your guitar nut shirt that only you and other guitar players will understand with a knowing week. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.